Hey there, everyone! This is Elkow playing ASMT. Last time we defeated that castle, and we can sneak in the, between the, the behind the real castle, the yellow. Yellow? Switch Palace. Now, at this point, gimmicks are going full on gimmick. Uh, yeah, you're playing as a little tofu man in his little fun time tunnel, and he is extremely sensitive to everything that is a sprite, so be very careful. You control basically up, down, all around, like, like, you know, just arrows are arrows. However, like, you cannot, like, go in diagonal, like, you go up or you go left, you cannot go up left or up right. Something to take into consideration. If you've been reading the com- uh, yeah, and you can't, like, jump, you can't, like, bop, like, I wouldn't have been safe on top of it. Uh, if you've been looking at the comments, uh, an astute individual has been like comparing my life loss compared to my original run back in the day and while, although at the start of the project I was doing significantly better at this point in the game we're kind of evening out and I don't know what to think of that like I guess I'm better at the basic stuff but once things get more complicated I guess things just kind of even out, huh? That up to there, though, I feel like it is the decision to make. And then you can go here and be safe. But, like, I know they're like, okay, like, that guy's kind of dangerous because it's gonna hop. Oh, jeez, like, whoa, like, how do you deal with that? And might create either impossible or uh, unpredictable situations. It's something you gotta be careful of. Man, you're excited there, Mr. Green Guy. All right. Align yourself- oh, Yeah, I remember that! I just forgot where it was, but you get the old washtub gag. Oh, that counts. Just, and you want to get low, pass underneath him. Like, at some point here, yeah, there's the washtub. Like, once you know about it, it's fine. Oh, sure, right, I don't have diagonals. Keep that in mind. Okay, alright, so first, another washtub. Uh, that was on reaction, so it is possible to react to these if you kind of have an idea that they might be coming. Like, this is a pretty little cramped area, so yeah, uh, remember, touching all sprites hurts. You're gonna turn around. I gotta race you here. I think, yeah, there's another one. Oh, what? That was enough? Okay. I'm at the end, though. Then you just redo that all the time, and you're gonna be mostly safe. There's a level 4 robots. Whoa, you can't just all shoot at once, though. That's rude. So, it's gonna be... Bouncing the lad pretty soon. Pass the Yoshi. There's no washed up here, not until... Like the last level element. Alright, I'm hanging up, so I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna go, whoa, there we go. And then you just kind of go to the side, and yeah, you get into invisible pipe. So, like, the way the level works is that uh, your player character is above the screen, and at that point, like, that's when Demo goes inside a pipe that's above the screen, and it's pretty rad! Okay, that went pretty okay! Like, it's a, it's a scary level, but like I said, during the winning run, it's a level for robots. Just execute, and you're gonna be fine. Now we're gonna use our broom and just get these leaves out of the way that were stopping us from moving. And there we go, we can skip the castle and go straight to World 5 if you want to. But, of course, we're gonna go out of our way to play all the levels. Like, why would I be doing this otherwise? I guess it might be possible to clear way all the way to... Seems to be a trend where I get all the way up to the, the, the castle. Anyway, we're gonna relax with the hardest level. This is this, this is honestly a really well-made level. It is so funny. And it works because it's not free. So, you know, you got here, it was like, oh, you fall straight in the ditch. But, oh, oh, oh there's... See, oh, 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 you don't die. But the other pits would have killed you. Like, there, that disco would have killed you. If, if it was able to. It's a... Uh, oh. It's an interesting dynamic. Where it's gonna kill you, but... Like here. You gotta be careful. Because... Oh, what? <laughs> Dang it. 
I wasn't deep enough in, but like you do need to do these jumps. At some point, the lava becomes ground and you're fine. But you gotta make a way th part of it. It's a uh, it's a trap level advanced. Uh, you don't know when you're gonna be trolled or not, and that's what makes it powerful. This though, this is a legit. This, that's just a legit trap. Like you gotta just hand out a happenstance to be stepping on that step, and you're gonna be fine. Check it out, there's a red guy. No, the red guy's over here. I was way too excited for red guy there. There we go. See, whoops, hey, you can walk all oh, that guy's like, whoosh. Man, he's there for real. Then he does, for real, just kind of throw himself off his block. Oh, that's right. Those are the letters. Someone just be Neo Geo Turf. Okay, this is the kind of bad part, but I think you don't like, so like, you think you need to do a bridge all the way until the end of the universe, but you can kind of skip ahead and just do it here. You can slide across the fur buzz, and here there's a bunch of hungry tiny horses. Again, some will hurt, some won't. You gotta, ugh, you gotta logic your way through grammar school. Here, I don't really have, like, a guy to help me out. Uh, yeah, but I see here they're fine. But uh, the, the turtles, though, they're still gonna hurt. Uh, wow. Whim. There we go. The whims of an eagle. Here's the pipe maze. See, the trick to the pipe maze is that all pipes are constantly lead to the next screen. It's so clever. Like, I feel bad about just explaining the gags before we get there, but I can't help myself. I'm a monster. I'm sorry. <laughs> just ruining everything. It's me. I'm the masked magician. Got this whole production here. Got to listen to the telephone. Is the happy group as bungee jumping? Hooray! I'm gonna jump at my own risk. Falling down and getting money from the money pit. Watch out for the horses everywhere. They might be ghosts. I don't know, and I don't care. There's not even a pit. There is just a little bit of despair. And then you flop back down to reality. The signs are making clear where you need to go. So just walk here forever. Or do a little hop. It's all the same. Here we are. Walking in darkness. This level so good. This is so funny. I mean, but it only works once. Like, it works when you play the level for the first time. When you know what's going on. Like, it's an extremely different uh, mentality. Pipe spread. Here we go. Pipe spread. We got, we got, you got a hundred Mario time unit. And you got all the Nagadons right at the start. I don't know. Didn't try too hard either. <laughs> All right, but time limit and plants and that place is kind of mean. I remember like like not only doing that or hurry, but the platforming is kind of like not 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 um, uh, uh, not nothing. One day I will remember how to speak, but that day not today. Here we go running on top of tile things, and here you got to remember to breathe. It's important. Here we get this thing. Yeah, like, this is just, whoa, how do you like being at the whims of the Weasel King? And I'm like, I don't care much for the Weasel King, personally. Alright, let's go. Gotta jump over this thing, and then the arrow says, hey, guy, you gotta go over there, but I want to, but the platform is not very fast. Here we go. Disco in a yard, a disco everywhere, disco in a morning, disco of despair. Go on a roof and sing at your rutabagas and forget about the landlord you buried in your yard three months ago. Alright, I guess we are going to do the castle then. Uh, turns out if you don't die because you kind of, you have beat the level before a decade ago. And you still kind of got a vibe of how things go, the level's pretty short. Honeypot Trap, this level is a thing, I think. I remember it being a thing. The boss is a thing. It's a level with bees! Alright, well, this guy. And bees and snails. Puppy tugs, puppy dogs tails, there we go. I said, the bee graphic is super cute. Look at that cute bee. Snail graphic is also pretty cute, but the fact that her eyes are colored is weird. So I don't know if you've guessed that, but... 
They're eeries and they're ghosts. Whoops, they're just general haunted enemy. That guy pushed a shell, doesn't need it anymore. And I love the little hives graphic. Like, it's adorable. Anyway, it's a little about that pun that I made once an astronaut. An astronaut is my favorite time unit. Look it out though, like, I don't know, like, even though everything is pretty much vanilla, other than the enemies, it holds itself so well. Here's Dry Bone and Dry Beetle, that's how they look like. They're weird ghost... mouse? I, I've never really was quite sure what's going on with their visual design. I mean, they're kind of neat, but, like, what are they? It's a mystery for everyone. I love the fire flowers. I am a big fire flower fan for for the grinders. They're so cool. They're so simple, but so avoca avocado. Avocado flavored death, man. Don't settle for less. Stop buying houses so you can afford more avocados. I don't know what I just did there. Like I don't know what but I whoop well, alright. So, I got- OH SHOOT! I've survived! Yeah, by accident, more than anything. Wow, this is a place? Okay, well, ooh. Okay, I should be good now for a little bit. Relax, don't panic. Forget about the Wheaties. No one has thought about Wheaties in years. For a good reason. Whoa, boy, that's... Whoa, the setup's here. Whoa, man. Ugh. Yeah, I got a case of the fear. <laughs> I was a little afraid. Is everything together here, man? Uh, shoot, no, yeah, I, 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 I played myself. I totally played myself. I got in my own head. Wow. The snail shells... Don't spin jump here if you're big. The snail shells look like football helmets, kinda-ish. When the they're like they don't have a snail in them. Oh, they're reverse moves. Um, maybe that's how they make Charlie helmets. They're just snail shells. Like the game has so much Charlie enemies in it compared to. Oh, this is just a bad idea. Compared to like a regular, just anything. Whoops! Bad ideas. Here we go. I love this. Like where you get an outside area. It's like a little garden. Like it's it's a very simple thing. It's just hey, I got castle tile set, but with the bush secondary tile set and and an outside background. Like that's all it is. But it looks cool. It's one of those life hack things. Life hack. Jumble your sprite sets around a little bit. I don't know. Video games. It's my favorite life hack of all. Just say video games after every, every, every everything you say. People will stop listening to you, so it won't matter what you're saying anymore afterwards. Go. Look at that guy. He's having fun. Signing on his belly. Has a big grimace on his face, implying he is actually not enjoying himself, actually. Read the room, please. I cannot. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm doing things. That cannot be denied. Things are being done. Should they be done? No. There's... <laughs> there's no confusion there. This is rad, but scary, too. Thanks for listening. Whoa, okay, yeah, last time I did that, I was small. It, I don't know if that would have made a bit of a there, though. I'm very good at communicating. You can tell I've been doing this for like 13 years or something. It's just everything I have to say comes out real clear, real subtle. Just tank things unnecessarily at the end. Here's your health honeycomb! Here we go, mystery bead! My, my, my honeycomb was my sweet. All these bees, though, like they're all gathering together, and here they're making like shapes. Whoa! Slide down the stairs. Layer two, more like layer zoo, because there's a lot of bees at the zoo. Yeah, go to this bee exhibit, and you're like, hey, 
I want to see all the bees you have, zoo man. The, then you corner yourself. <laughs> That's the trick. I figured it out. Man, but I got a midpoint. So it's all good. I'm looking forward to dying 500 times to the boss. Yeah, so see you got this little entry room, and then you can have more honey. If you, infinite honey for demo. Dot com. That's not a real website. Whoops, well, I can play video games. I choose not to. How about that? So, I forget what's the best way to deal with this. Because bees will just keep coming. There's an eerie generator. It's nothing like magic. But, bees will just keep coming. And if you dawdle... That's a fun word to say. If you dawdle, like, you will, you will just be overrun. Uh... Unnecessary pun. Whoa, look at that cloud that gathered behind me. Like, that's pretty, it's pretty spooky. Nothing says spooky like a bee smiling at you. Like, hey, you want some of this delicious nectar? And I'm like, no. And you're like, oh. Oh, man. Well, yeah, that was a bit, uh, idealist. I'm s ah! D again! Exact same thing happened. Not getting any less awkward. Ah, really? With the laughs. Oh, wow, that's right, layer two smash. That's a thing. Yeah, I was trying to dodge one. Um, ah. A hit for, ah, I, yeah. And then you get here and you're like, I'm gonna try and rush forward and invariably you die. Trying. I knew, oh, man. No, no, no. I was a creative way to spin around it, but no. I, oh, I why? Where's the bee? Is, did it just? Did the bee just not spawn because of all the bees? That's cool. All the player's really thinking is, I want out. Also, the like, what do I do here? Die? Okay. Ah! Bees are approaching me. I, I, uh, my favorite part is how I'm seeing like no real improvement. But he, I don't know. I don't get it. Uh, I was looking at like every other bee on screen except that one. Whoa! Why'd you stop in midair? A cloud of bee effect going. Yeah. Okay, progress is being made. There's a big yellow door. <sighs> and then I get killed. Out behind. So it's the one that are like wavering. I I'm like I can't. I can't do anything. Worse for me by doing this because like now I have to deal with all of this, which I've done seemingly effortlessly. Except then I trip my stupid foot on a stupid spike. And when my options are many. Thank you. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. making things easier for myself. But, like, what do you... All the nah... Oh, that guy's approaching me. All the 
non-generated bees. Staying still. That's what you want to see. Hey, time to get died by the boss now. Dare saw my villa. I shall eat bacon. I said bacon. Yeah, random. So yeah, he does earthquakes, and those are the bad homing bills, and I basically died. Yeah, and uh, I would have been safe. A little bit more aggressive paid off. So when he lands, he does an earthquake. Oh boy. Those mega spikes are not decorations up there. He just has many bees to throw. Ugh. Got this. Oh my gosh, I did this on exactly demo 100? Wow. I was not looking at the top six of the screen for a little bit. I mean, once I got there, I got there regularly. So there, I it's proved that I did eventually learn my way through this thing. But boy, was it not... I mean, uh, flavor-wise, it's so good. It is, like, fantastic. But, uh... Hey, wishes are amphibious? Sure. But, uh, wow, the learning process was rough. Like, that was just... That was unpleasant. I, it's a lot of moving parts, and I think that as I'm growing older, I'm getting, like, more trouble dealing with, like, lots of moving parts. I don't know, maybe I'm just making that up. I have no idea. I don't know at all. But workforce then! That's good news, is it? I mean, it's news. 